I love my Mac and I love Mac OS Sequoia and I love that Apple has released all of these awesome new features into Mac OS Sequoia to just make the thing work better. Has integration with AI, which can be scary. Like what sort of data are they stealing? Are they stealing data? Apple has said no, but hey, great, great new features. All of these new security things built into the application, into the OS, which is fantastic. But you know, sometimes, you know, I hate to admit it, sometimes Mac OS doesn't have all of the software that it needs. Mac OS doesn't have the full integration from a business perspective that sometimes it needs. Sometimes there is a need to actually get Windows installed onto your Mac. A lot of companies nowadays will not support the Mac, but sometimes they'll say, hey, you can have a Mac, but you have to be running Windows onto it. So I'm gonna show you how to best install Windows 11 onto your Mac. And this is version for Mac OS Sequoia, but the process will work the same in other versions of Mac OS. Now, what I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using a piece of software. It's the best and the easiest way to actually get Windows running on your Mac. And it has some fantastic features that just makes the experience seamless. Before we do get into that, hey, remember to click on that subscription button, click on the bell. And also I've got a whole bunch of training courses on this exact topic and a whole bunch of other topics on tech. So you can see those down below in this video description. Parallels is uh, an app that has been around for a very, very long time and is the leader when it comes to virtualization from a Mac perspective. You've got VMware Fusion, and you've got other solutions out there as well that do a similar sort of thing. But I think from an integration perspective, I think from a benefits perspective, Parallels is the leader, all right? I'm gonna just say that. Now, I know a lot of you are probably gonna say, yeah, but it's expensive. Well, it can be, but it doesn't have to be, right? There's different sort of tiers that you can buy from this solution. So I recommend just getting one that is just basic for you. Try it out, you can try it out for free. And then if you like it, you can then go and get it. But it is, trust me, the best way to actually get Windows working very, very well on your Mac. And what's really, really cool about Parallels itself is that right out of the box, you can actually go and just download Parallels and install Windows 11 straight away without really too much problem whatsoever. Really, really easy to do. Now we're gonna go and navigate to parallels.com or you can just go into Google and type in download parallels and it'll show up like this. You've got Parallels desktop for Mac, for Mac Pro, Mac Business Edition, Windows on the Mac. This is the easiest way. So you can power up your Mac to run Windows on a virtual desktop, get access to more than 200,000 of its apps to work, develop, study, etc. You can go and download it for free to trial it. But ideally, after that trial ends, you are going to have to go and download it, all right? Once you're ready, you can download it right from here. This is after you've put in your email address. Here's my installation file with my key and double click on it over here and we just go ahead and open it. Straight away, you'll notice that it's given me an option here to go and download and install Windows 11. So there's two ways that you can do this. One, you can go and download the ISO yourself, right? So for example, you could go into Google and type in download Windows 11 and it'll be available there and you'll download the ISO file. And that's the ISO file that you use to go and deploy your VM. The other option is you can let Parallels do all of this for you. But there's another option over here where you can click on other options and you'll see that you can get Windows 11 directly from Microsoft. You can install Windows, Linux or Mac OS from an image file that is referring to the ISO. But there's also a whole bunch of versions down over here. There is an option here to click on limitations. If I click on limitations, it essentially opens up this window over here on a browser and you can see a few limitations here of running Windows 11 on Apple Silicon. Of course, your Mac is running an Apple CPU. If you've got a relatively newer Mac, you shouldn't have any other problems. But if you do run into some problems, have a read through this limitation section and see if you can diagnose and troubleshoot from there. But for the most part, it should work quite comfortably. We now want to go ahead and click on install Windows. So install Windows. I will primarily use Windows for productivity or games only. So this is going to go and customize your parallels accordingly. So for now, let's just say we want to do productivity, but of course we can change it. Continue. So this is now going to go to the Microsoft site, to their, to their servers, and it's going to start to download Windows 11. Now you'll see it's pretty big, 5.24 gig. It's gonna download it to your Mac. Make sure you've got enough storage. We'll check back once this is done. So you'll notice that once it's downloaded, it'll start to install Windows automatically. And this is essentially the same screen that you would normally see on a computer that where you've thrown in a USB stick to boot Windows. And this is essentially the main steps right in here. With the installation complete, you may get a few pop-ups like this one over here, where if you're, it's asking uh, if Parallels VM is allowed to find network uh, devices on your network. I would say this is up to you. 
if you want to be using your Windows installation like any other computer that is on your network, because essentially what this will do is it'll create its own IP address. It'll get its own MAC address. It'll have its own identification within your network. It'll be a unique computer. So your network, your router, things like this in your network will see this Windows installation as a separate computer, even though it's running on your Mac. Clicking allow will open up that connection on your Mac, allowing your Windows installation to do that. So if you're happy, you can say, okay, all right? Now we've got our first agreement here that is now a Windows 11 agreement. Now you'll also notice that there's a whole bunch of buttons up here on the very top right of your new Windows 11 installation. You'll also notice that your taskbar at the very, very top top left here has all these other options available to you. And now you'll see that this is a fully fledged version of Windows, but it's within a window on your Mac itself. Here is my Windows 11. Look at that. I've got everything right here ready to go. It's absolutely brilliant. Click on that subscription button, click on the bell. A lot of you are not subscribed, so I would love it if you do follow along as we release videos. Give us a thumbs up, do the whole stuff on YouTube. You've got to do all of this on the YouTube machine. And uh, thanks again. We'll see you on the next video.